is the degree measure of the smaller angle formed by the hands of a clock at 2:48. Now, clock. We're going to draw that clock, of course. Draw half a clock and then the other half of the clock. Okay, there's our clock. I'm going to label our clock, of course. Two, three, four. Five, six is right across from the twelve. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and finally we have eleven. Now two forty. We're going to draw that in as well. First, put in our origin of the circle. Let's see, two forty. Yeah, well, that's almost three. Is the hour hands pointing somewhere like that, almost at the three and forty-eight? Oh, that's thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, somewhere almost to the ten. How many hands are gonna be pointing right over? All right, so there's two forty-eight. They want the smaller angle. That means this is the smaller angle. Now we see that we can consider. When we get both of the hands of our clock are overlapping at twelve, we can consider that to be zero degrees. And then we see that this big angle right here. Well, I can compute that because we see, well, for each minute, we can find out how many degrees that is because we have, well, the whole circle is three. Hundred and sixty degrees. There's sixty of those sort of tick marks in an hour. We could say sixty minutes in an hour. We can divide. So we can divide for by sixty, and we get six degrees, of course. So, so for every minute, this、uh, this minute hand moves six degrees. It moves forty-eight minutes. That means it moves six times. Forty-eight, of course. Well, six times forty is two forty. We have to get on that six times eight. Forty-eight, two forty plus forty-eight is two eighty-eight. Okay, there we go. But we see that's this whole big angle. So if we subtract off this little angle, this that little line right in the middle, we see that we can get the bigger angle formed at the hands of a clock at 348 degrees. But we don't want bigger; we want smaller. But the smaller angle and the bigger angle they have to add up to the whole circle. So we can take the whole circle, 360 degrees, right there. We can subtract off the degree measure of the bigger angle, which we know how to compute, and then. We get the degree measure of the smaller angle. So let's do that. First, we got to find the degree measure of this smaller angle right there. Now, there's two ways we can do this. I'm gonna first show you the counting way. I mean, the counting way to do this, and then I'm gonna show you the more algebraic way, more a little more like algebra and multiplying and stuff like that. The first counting way. That's the more low level, but It's okay. So what we're gonna do is we see one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw in the four tick marks between the two and three. And we know that since two forty eight, that's between two o'clock and three o'clock. The hour hand is pointing somewhere between the two and three. But where? Well, we see since an hour is sixty minutes, sixty minutes. And all there's five tick marks in this whole. There's five tick marks in this whole like part between the two and three. Well, that means every time the hour hand moves one tick mark, it's twelve minutes. That means well, forty-eight. That's four of these lengths of twelve minutes. That means it has to be pointing at the fourth space. So. The hour hand is pointing right there at the fourth place, and that means this whole bit right there, this little bit, this that little bit right there, is 
this little bit right there, that's one, one of these little tick marks is six degrees. We have four of those little six degrees. Well, that means that's 24 degrees. But can't forget about this big hunk, this other big hunk of our angle. Let me see. And that's rather easy to compute because, well, we have two of our, these little bits right there. And while these little bits, we can take our whole 360 circle. And then, since there's 12 of these big hunks in the whole clock, we can divide by 12. Now I can just compute this. 24 degrees stays 24. I need to get a pen. Let's see, that's better. 24 degrees, 360 divided by 12 is 30 degrees. Two times 30 degrees is 60 degrees. 24 degrees plus 64 degrees is 84 degrees with the degrees in point. Now, this is the counting way. Really. It's a more low level way. Because here you just count the tech marks and then use a little algebra to get the other part. But here's the thing. What if the 48 wasn't divisible by 12? Because then we can't just, I mean, it might be pointing at the three and a half. I mean, how are you, what are you gonna do with that? So if it's not a multiple of 12, it's gonna be pointing somewhere between two tick marks. How, what are you gonna do with that? So I'm gonna teach you the more slick way that can help you solve all the problems no matter what time this is. This, this way only helps us solve the problems where the minute, the 48, that is, is divisible by 12. But that's this next way I'm gonna show you has to do with ratios and proportion. You might be thinking, ugh, Max, that's way too hard and complicated. Well, you know what? What if, what's, what if that's a 49? What are you gonna do with that? You gotta use proportion. Sorry about that. Okay, put a bar there. So what we're gonna do is we know we have this hour is 60 minutes. And well, it made 48 of this. I mean, this made, this what hour had a little bit. It made 48 minutes, but that's minutes, 60. Minute, 48 minute. That's what the minute here is. What is the minutes doing with the hour hand? Now, here's the thing. If, if the hour hand only moved like 20 minutes and the minute hand moved 48 minutes, that's not right. So the hour hand and the hour hand measures, since the hour hand moves gradually slower, but the speeds are proportional. Like it has to be like, Pretend that the hour hand is moving like this slow, and like the minute hand is moving much faster. But it's not like they have to be proportional because then, only then, can the minutes be the same. I mean, if they aren't proportional, if the speeds aren't proportional, then this little bit right there, that won't be 48 minutes. Or this little hunk right there, this hole the minute hand won't be at the 48 minute mark. So that's why they have to be proportional because of course fractions, you understand that as ratios, 48 to 60, that's the proportion of the speeds. And of course we can simplify this 48 over 60, divide through by a factor of 12, you get four fifths. Four fifths and now we see since the whole, since the whole big part is 360 degrees divided by 12, two to three, this big angle right here, as we discussed in the other, in the counting way, that's 30 degrees. That means this little bit right there is four fifths of 30 degrees of mean multiply. So you have four fifths times 30 degrees. And well, one fifth of 30 degrees is six, six degrees, that means four, of these six, I mean, four fifths must be four times that four times six is 
24 degrees and now you see where this is going. We have 24 degrees just like before. Now we see, like usual, this whole big, the 12, between the 12 and two, we already figured that out. This is a 60 degrees, add on to 24 degrees and just like that we got 84 degrees. And why I'm teaching this is because what if this is a zero, 40, that's not divisible by 12. It's gonna be pointing somewhere between two tick marks. I don't know how to deal with that. So now let's see. We have this whole big 84 degrees. Now we can take that's we can take our whole big 288 degrees, subtract off 84 degrees. Let's see, 280 degrees minus 84, that's one, wait, that's 200 and four degrees. There, put a little barrier so you don't get it mixed up. It's 204 degrees, but again, like I said before, that's the whole big, so that's the bigger angle. That means we have to take the whole, oh, I have to use another barrier. We, can, we have to take the whole circle We're gonna have to subtract off this 204 degrees. Since then, after that, drum roll please, finally we have the smaller measure, which is 156 degrees.